Now, athletes from all over the country are heading to Bath this week ahead of the start of the Special Olympics. It's the first time the event's been held in the West. Some 1,700 athletes, all with learning disabilities, will take part. Our reporter Laura Jones has been along to meet one competitor from Gloucestershire who's hoping to strike gold. Getting in some last-minute practice. He's already ranked as second in the world in his grouping, but this will be Tom Meller's first Special Olympics, and the 24-year-old from Cheltenham is keen to do well. Uh, well, I'm hoping to get a gold in the doubles uh, and a silver in the singles, maybe a gold, depending on how I play. One of the good things that I like about the Special Olympics is, because it's done in groups, anybody, you know, anybody can play. Uh, so you've got players... Um, you know, with, with Down syndrome, you've got players with different disabilities um, that, that play to their own equal, you know, standard. Tom was born with velocardiofacial syndrome. It meant some medical complications when he was little and now means he has learning disabilities, but nothing that stops him excelling on court. He's been playing since he was just six years old. Tom is just one of 1,700 athletes taking part in this year's Special Olympics. The five-day event is a big deal and the culmination of a lot of hard work for a lot of people. But the Special Olympic movement is about a lot more than just this week. Unlike the Paralympics, which is geared towards athletes with physical and sensory disabilities, the Special Olympics is for athletes with learning disabilities. It's also a year-round operation, providing more than 8,000 adults and children with sports training programmes in clubs across the country. Anyone with an intellectual disability of whatever sporting ability whatsoever is invited to come along, get involved in the Special Olympics Club and through that they will find greater confidence, greater self-esteem and fun and friendship. Those, those are the huge benefits. It is transformational in their lives. The Special Olympic torch will arrive in Bath tomorrow evening and mark the official start of the Games. It's hoped that the buzz around the event will encourage more people in the West with learning disabilities to get involved. Laura Jones, BBC Points West, Cheltenham.